All right, fine, it with me. I'm your man, Sheriff. You got the right to remain silent. If you people are just about finished, I'll <laughs> tell you who killed Debbie. Debbie's phone records show she called Mr. Hank Hill a short while before her death, which means she was home at 6 p.m. Now, what would she have seen if she looked out her window at 6 p.m., hmm? Normally, she'd see Sheriff Mumford stuffing some Sugarfoot's ribs into his face. But on this night, she saw Mr. Buck and Ms. Liz Strickland entering the restaurant, which, according to the Sugarfoot's reservations book, occurred at... 603 Mr. and 604 Mrs. Seeing Buck and Ms. Liz back together must have thrown that pretty little tank wipe into a jealous rage. So when she went down to Sugarfoot's... Uh, she... Peggy Sugarfoot's. At the time, it was. Yeah. The point is, she went there to kill Buck Strickland with the 12-gauge shotgun he had stashed in her apartment. So she climbed into the dumpster next to his Cadillac to lie in wait. Now, sitting in a dumpster full of half-eaten barbecue can make you hungry. Mm. And sure enough, Debbie went across the street to... The get in, get out. According to the store's security videotape and a written deposition from a Mr. Freddy Hakimi, she purchased a big gulp and a 99 cent nacho plate. By buying them together, she saved 23 cents. My God, that is one heck of a deal. When Debbie returned to the dumpster, she saw Mr. Strickland's car and assumed he was still there. What she didn't know was that the Stricklands had already left together in Mrs. Strickland's car, having reconciled physically in a storeroom. And again in the meat locker. And, once more, in the slop sink. She had difficulty juggling the three items as she attempted to negotiate her way back into the dumpster. She put the gun in first. She wouldn't let go of that junk food. And that was the source of her demise. For as Debbie climbed into that dumpster, her foot accidentally tripped the hammer on the gun. So, Debbie Grun's killer was Debbie Grund. Oh, Buck, I am so relieved. Well, I thought it was you. Yeah, and I would have too, Miss Liz. Yeah, I'd have done it for you, of course. I thought you did it. That's why I planted the shotgun shell in Hank's truck, to protect you. You planted evidence for me? Yeah. Oh, sugar for Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry about that whole frame up there, Tano. I was under a lot of stress. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess if my mistress had been murdered and my wife were a suspect, uh, yeah. <laughs>